Welcome back. We're going to try this uh, fun new variant called Check Shogi that uh, Wanderer had Ten, recently put nine, on this website. Eight, seven, I'm going to reduce the volume six, slightly. Sorry about five, that. Four, three, two, so yeah, we have this one. new variant. All right, good luck. Um, so yeah, the first player to check the opponent wins the game. That's the name of the game. Don't get checked. <laughs> um, incidentally, bishop drops are kind of... I mean, bishop drops and any kind of piece drops are kind of crazy powerful in this variant. So you want to be careful about what gets exchanged. Um, that's all I know. Okay... Goodness gracious. Um, I'm going to take this and pray that this works out. I don't know the theory for this variant. Uh, okay, I guess that makes sense. Uh, okay. Am I going to die now? I'm probably going to die now. Um, okay. I'll threaten a check over here. Threaten a check over there. <sighs> Maybe we got it. This variant... <laughs> this has been so exciting. Good game. Well played. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, this is way more exciting than last year. Um... So last year we had uh, Chu Shogi, and uh, many, I forget how many players participated. I think it was at least half a dozen. Um, okay, we need to block the diagonal so I don't get mated on the first move. We learned that the hard way once. Um, Hmm. Okay, let's try this. <sighs> okay, I defend my king. Let's continue pushing. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Um... Hmm. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, that's cool, too. Um, do I get to do the same trick I did last game, perhaps? Let's try this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, well, uh, good game. <laughs> oh, this, this variant is so exciting. <laughs> All right, one second. I'm going to put a, uh, another proverb up there. Her visual interest. Uh, don't sack the rook. Do not sacrifice. I should have done bishop takes. Lesson learned, maybe? Until uh, next time, and I've completely forgotten about it somehow. Alright. Yeah, this is catching everyone off guard. <laughs> this is like Wild 5, but for Shogi. Oh my gosh. Um, so intense. 
All right, we block the check. Is that GG? That looks a lot like GG right there. All right. I am on a roll somehow. Um, cool. The proverb we had earlier is that the pawn on 5c cannot lose. And there's my pawn on 5c. And there's here no pawn on 5c. So, um, hmm. I promise I didn't do this to boost my rating. I just thought this would be a fun event to run. Apparently, having played a couple games of this before, and having thought extensively about this before the tournament, has provided me this immense leg up on everyone that I don't deserve. Um, but I'll take it. Um, all right, so I can exchange my bishop if I need to. Let's push this now. Wait, what? Oh, right. Um, my bishop could have threatened something here. <sighs> That's a free pawn. I see. That's a good trick. I haven't seen that before. Obviously, there's the first time for me to see anything. Um. Yeah, I'm impressed. Uh, okay, let's put this out there. Good game. All right, let's go, let's go. I've given a lot of thought to this castle, by the way, and it, there's probably still some terrible weakness, but uh, we still don't have engine analysis for this game yet, so um, enjoy this while it lasts. It's thoroughly abusing. But yeah, I would totally retire and just spectate this if it's cool with folks. Um, I got no skin in this. I don't know about this bishop move. Hmm. <sighs> Intriguing. Intriguing. Let's try this.
Oh, pawn drop mate. Well spotted. Oh, okay, that's that's the counterpoint. We finally found it. Okay. So Yeah, that changes opening theory quite a bit. Um well spotted. When did they get the Oh, that's when they got the pawn. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, when they pushed the edge file to get a pawn, that's when they got the pawn. That's why my pushing the edge file to develop my bishop has a hole. Um, I see now. And like I said, I'd just be glad to like retire from this and spectate it. Um, but I feel some obligation to keep playing it a little bit um, until somebody overtakes me. And then we can give up the throne. Um, yeah, using two knights is like a really cool, powerful attack. Also, they missed pawn drop mate the previous turn, as did I. So, the game's complicated. Alright, here we go. I'm Gota again. I guess if they open the diagonal, I have to move this gold. Um, moving a silver prevents, um, yeah, prevents this counter shot. Is there a mate here? I don't think so. Um, still don't think there's a mate here. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it's quite a mess. All right, that'll do it. I get Senta once more. Senta, I think, has a strong advantage. I could be mistaken. So Senta's able to open the bishop diagonal and then push this pawn in front of the rook with impunity. Um, now we learned the other game that a counter to this is like either getting a lance or a pawn. That either a lance or a pawn would be nice to have against that. Okay. Isn't this immensely weakening?
Hmm. I'm panicking a bit. Fuck. Yeah, there's no defense. Nicely done. Alright, I'm soon to be overtaken. Yeah, you want to use a pair of knights. Um... Oh, I, could, well, I can't lift the rook to hit that, because the pawn was in the way. I'm not sure what the defense is. Just something like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to push this directly. Defend the king a little bit. Continue such defense. Uh, push here. <sighs> well, that's bizarre. Okay, the night blocks. Um, Jeez, this is complicated. Oh, nicely spotted. Okay. Woo! To check is to chase. Indeed. All right, so, yeah, uh, other players seem to be understanding the name of the game now. Oh, I need to come up with new ideas. <sighs> this is difficult. Hmm. This is so difficult. Apparently Crab Castle's pretty decent. I guess Crab Castle's the new meta. All right, I guess that's what I'm doing next. If you can't beat him, join him. Okay, what's this? Is that a serious attack? Or have I walked into something, perhaps? Um, I don't understand. It's a tough game. It is such a tough game. All right, but when somebody overtakes, it looks like Night Sparrow's on their way to overtaking me here. Then I can retire.
It's a tough game. What's the... Oh, right. Um... I'm not sure I believe that. Oh, I see. Right, they can prevent the bishop from advancing. What's this? What is this? This is some kind of race. Um, fuck, I missed something. Bishop dropped there as a monster. Um, <laughs> yeah, they could have taken the bishop for a victory. Good game. This is intense. <laughs> you thought you were sent to... Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. It's a fun event, though, I hope. I put a good deal of thought into, like, what the time control of a fun April 1st-ish tournament would be. Um, I think I picked the right variant and the right time control. And we're just all completely spaghetti egg all over this and that's fun um okay what's this oh i should have moved the rook there's no reason for me to have allowed this insanity uh, crab castle. That's what I should have done, is I actually built the crab castle. That's the real plan. Anything else is just ridiculous. Okay, what have I missed? Uh, a lance is kind of nice when there's an open spot in front of the king right there. But also there's this. Oh crap, I missed an all right. And if I had advanced the knight, I would have had a forced win. Um Okay. Whatever.
GG. Yeah, I should have advanced this knight first, and then the other knight could have picked any square. There, well, there might not have been a winning square, actually, because the way these pawns are situated. Maybe I did the best thing after all. Hmm. Hmm. Man, the point of this event wasn't for me to win the event, by the way. The point was to do something fun that we'd all enjoy, <laughs> not just me enjoying it. Um... Oh, they can drop a pawn here. All right, I do need to drop a pawn to deal with the pawn drop possibility. But yeah, I did give this a reasonable degree of consideration as to like what the opening should be, what the castle should be, and all that. I have plans. They're not exhaustive, but like. Um, it's cool to see what works. I'm stunned that this isn't just, like, instantly solved as a variant. It's actually pretty complicated, as far as I can tell. Um. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, there's no... There's nothing I can do to even make this, like, plausible. Uh, I could try to run the king. It just ends me up in more trouble than I'm already in. Um, it's no good. Uh, nicely played. Nicely played. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Um, huh. Not the player I expected to beat me. Just given the tournament standings. Um... Apparently this means pushing the Rook Pawn is actually kind of important. Um. Oh. Okay.
I had an idea. It was such a bad idea. I was going to trade my rook for the bishop. Which gets me mated instantly. Uh, nicely spotted. Alright, we'll pretend it's not a thing. It's a thing. Alright. Opponents have figured out the meta now. Um, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. I still have an immense lead, but I think Guston will be able to take it. He just ranked up to two Don on 81 Dojo. So, um, yeah, he's playing pretty well, obviously. So this meta of just pushing the Rook Pawn, um, it's a bit much. Okay, let's build this way. Hmm. Oh shit, this doesn't work. Um, okay, pretend I did that earlier and all the move order was proper and whatever. Um, yeah, pretend that there wasn't some massive move order gaffe in that sequence. And we'll get along just fine. I don't know why I believed in this, and suddenly I don't. Alright, whatever. Got a pawn. Um, this is a disaster. Hmm? Who am I playing against? Who played this reasonable looking opening against me? Because, like, this is really impressive that I'm just getting pushed around. That was stupid. Okay, I'm resigning. Okay. Very nicely done. What the heck? Fourth file rook is a thing in this game? Well, now we know. Huh. Okay. Jeez. I thought I had a chance here. That was brutal. I should not have made this exchange, but also, like... Yeah, fourth file rook is crazy. Um... I hadn't thought much about it. So yeah, this is why you'd play that pawn. Is to prevent the opponent from instantly switching to four file rook strategy. Um, hmm. Okay, we're going to cut the bishop off from there. Hmm. 
and refuse to make the world's easiest target. Um, they're good with their pawn to Suji, I'll give you that. This is so painful. Um, Oh, I can't force that exchange anyway. That's not a real threat. Um, Should have spotted that a mile away. Victory is mine. All right. Don't let it go to my head. Wait. Wasn't there something... I thought that wouldn't be possible here. What am I doing? What 
What am I doing? I don't know. GG, well spotted. I think we found our rival. And he's going to overtake me in the last, no, oh, the next few minutes, actually. All right, so I can't push that pawn twice. Pushing that pawn twice gets me killed. Uh, now we know. That is so painful. Yeah, fourth file rook seems to be the way to go. Um, I don't understand it, but boy, it strikes hard. And it puts the rook in a safe position. Well, no, if a knight drop ever happens, you're screwed, but you just don't lose a knight. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a go. If it works for opponents, it's got to work for me, right? It's maddening. Um, that's wildly dangerous. I wouldn't play that. Um, we'll probably see why in just a second here. Bishop drop threatens mate. <laughs> All right, that works. Wait, wait, wait. Open this first. <sighs> then, fine, let's do right fourth file rook. If fourth file rook's playable, then right fourth file rook must also be playable. Is that not the case? Let's find out why that's not the case. Oh, that's wild. Um. Okay. That's disgusting but I don't see a better move. <sighs> that is so sad. All right. They shouldn't take this. It's immensely tempting to capture when you can capture, but like 
That would be suicide to take that. This is so, so bad. I'm getting extremely outplayed, in case it's not obvious. Because I have no idea how to play this, and my opponent has some idea how to play it. So... Um, wow, I spooked him. I don't know what to do now that we've spooked the opponent, but, um, premature celebration sounds like a thing. Um, I probably needed to move the silver instead. I live, at least for one turn. Good game. I survived somehow. Don't ask how. Um, hmm. Well, this is, yeah, this is amazing. I hope that there will be another tournament like this, and I hope it will be well attended. I think this has given everybody something to be excited about, so that was really the goal. Uh, goal two is now that I'm like invested time-wise into the event, I want to win the damn thing. We got this far. We got to win it now. <sighs> it's such a complicated game. Oh no. This could get complicated. Um This is complicated in the best case and lost in the worst case. Um let's hope for the best case. And expect the worst.
got to block everything like this because I didn't castle properly. Impressive. Um, nicely played. Mm. All right, so that's how you conduct an attack. Now I know. <laughs> Helps to know these things, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Why? He was on this massive losing streak and I let him back in. Why did I let him back in? What am I doing? Who's my opponent now? Why did I encourage that? This is a disaster. I need a pawn. Like, I'm not joking, I need a pawn here. Fuck. <laughs> God. All right. All right. Nicely played. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's a thing. Uh, all right. Fine. That always catches me off guard. That, hey, I just got a knight. Let me exchange that knight. Oh no, a knight just checkmates me. How did that happen? Well, it's because I gave them the knight that I just obtained. Even though previously there was no knight, suddenly there was, and then there was no more. Um, I'd be best to just never, ever move a knight in this game. I'd be well advised to just never, ever move a knight.
Hmm. They can drop somewhere around here. And it's terrifying. Um, but this is mate. Alright. <sighs> that was close. Yeah. This game is an exercise in just thinking you see something and then it's not there. And then thinking again and it's still not there. And meanwhile you get punched in the face by the obvious thing that you missed. Because the time control is ridiculous. Who picked this time control? I think we all know the answer to this one. Alright. We got one last game, it seems. One last chance to pretend to redeem myself. Yeah, well, that's this is an April 1st thing, right? It's supposed to be hilarious. That's the whole point, is that, like, it's not a serious tournament. Um, we could make it serious, but that's no fun, is it? Um... But yeah, you raise a good point that, like, if we're trying to, like, build a proper community, yeah, I do need to pick a reasonable time control for the games. Because um, this time control is completely unreasonable. Um... I imagined many variations here that don't make sense. Um,
I could take this. I could have taken my silver and dropped it back here. GG. Nice tournament, everyone. Woo! That was invigorating for everyone. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed that. I thought that was pretty wild. I might have gotten a little bit salty somewhere through it. Um, because uh, we picked a ridiculous type control. And I couldn't keep up with it. Um, but I think if the goal of the tournament was to get as many people to see this thing as possible, I think we succeeded at that goal. If we want to do some more serious Czech Shogi tournaments in the future, I'm sure that can be arranged. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a good night.